Well, let's return to our main story, the aftermath of the failed military coup in Turkey. The extradition of failed coup mastermind Fatula Gulen has become a subject of debate in the US. Weva Gujon, vice president of Stratfor Global Analysis, joins us live. She's in Austin, Texas. Reva, how do you think the US is assessing whether or not to extradite Fatula Gulen? I mean, why I'm trying to get here is why it's important to the US. Well, of course, Gulen's location in Pennsylvania has always been a very big distraction in U.S.-Turkish relations. As you know, every time there's any sort of, of incident involving Gulen, you have a lot of conspiracy theories in Turkey that tie the U.S. to sort of Gulen movements. And, you know, that is something that the United States is probably, frankly, sick of. Um, and there are some important matters that the United States and Turkey needs to work on. First and foremost, the pressing threat of Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. And so, as Secretary of State Kerry has already said, the U.S. will consider Turkey's extradition request, but it needs to be a formal extradition and substantiated with evidence, not allegations. And, you know, from there, I think the U.S. is going to be very willing to negotiate so it can move on to more important strategic matters between Turkey and the United States. So talking of the more important strategic matters, how do you expect U.S.-Turkish relations to, to move from, from here on? Because as you mentioned, it's quite strained to begin with. Well, definitely. The United States is not completely comfortable with a Turkey that is more entrenched within the Islamic world. And so, you know, the United States has been trying to sort out these strains with the AKP government. Of course, now in the wake of this coup attempt, we're going to see much more forceful crackdowns. I think in Europe and the West overall, the lectures on human rights are largely going to fall on deaf ears in Ankara. Uh, these crackdowns will persist. There will be a broad Gulenist label used to justify those crackdowns. Um, you know, there have been threats made by European officials even today and some question of whether NATO's participation in NATO uh, could come under threat if Turkey goes too far in these purges. But the fact of the matter is that the West needs Turkey. Uh, in NATO. It certainly needs Turkey to counterbalance Russia. It needs Turkey to play a big role in the fight against Islamic State. But it's going to take a lot of time to repair the Turkish military. And that means, at least in the short to medium term, that there's going to be more burden on the United States in handling that fight. Riva Kujan, thank you very much.